Welcome to Taiwan. We kicked off our time in Taiwan with a 2 a.m. flight from Ho Chi Minh City to Taipei. We were instantly impressed with the rail service into town. It was so easy and cost effective. We zipped over the green fields and lots of trees before entering Taipei City. We then headed to our Airbnb for some much needed rest. We have really enjoyed playing house in our little apartment. We're staying slightly out of the city, near the zoo, in a very leafy residential neighborhood with solid public transport options. Most mornings start with a coffee, looking out at the view. Much fun, Ooh, boy. Thank you, such a good provider. Mm. We have a great kitchen, washing machine, and the best dining room in the city. This morning we decided to get out of the apartment and head into town. This is Rainbow Road. It sounds like a Mario Kart reference, but actually it's a sweet little tribute to the LGBTQI plus community in Taipei. One of the reasons why we chose to come to Taiwan is because of their leadership in legalizing same-sex marriage. We're hoping that their bold actions will have a positive chain reaction across the rest of Asia. I think Thailand might be preparing to follow suit actually. It's very cool. This is a safe city for people in the queer community. This street has such a youthful feel. It reminds us a little bit of Harajuku in Japan. It's super cool around here. We also explored Peace Memorial Park, a really tranquil park right in the city. We also popped in on Liberty Square. There is so much to see here. A vast courtyard with beautiful buildings. Food's on the brain at the moment, so we've come to Little Tree Food. I think I'm craving vegetarian dumplings, that might be the play. Let's go inside. So we've decided to order the set menu. It's really good value and it would give us lots of different bits to try, including drinks. We were actually looking for something a bit more casual, but the look of the food was so alluring and the price of the set meal was so reasonable that we thought, ah, oh, to hell with it, let's just, let's just roll with it. So I don't think we'll regret that decision. To drink, we've got this peach juice. Oh, that's really yummy. Can you take the coconut? Yeah, I can taste the coconut. It's like a cocktail, but a healthy one for the morning. <laughs> Minus the alcohol. <laughs> yeah. Oh, check out these dumplings. Sichuan vegetarian dumplings. Oh, soak it in. Look how thin the wrapper is. You can see the fillings and sides. We'll give this a go. Mmm. Mmm, the dumplings are rad. Such a good kick of spice, real personality in the flavour. Gold star. So we've got here risotto, lasagna, and avocado salad. Looks so good. Courgette and eggplant, two foods that can go quite wrong if not cooked correctly. These are really tender. Mmm. Now we have a cake coming, salted caramel I believe. Can we even fit it in here? I'm not sure. <laughs> that meal's been like a marathon, but so, so good. So good. Mm. It's so good. We do not need it, but we want it. It's light, it's creamy, it has that pop of caramel goodness. A great grand finale. Mm. Hot damn, that's so good. Good morning. Today we're heading to the Taipei Zoo. And we're going to go there via a cable car, which is really close to where we're living. So we're just going to go for a short walk to the cable car, and we're going to go up over the hill that's behind us and check out some animals. 
Okay, so between us and the gondola lies a river. We were hoping to cross it on this bridge here. However, as you can see, it's for trains. So, yeah. In the interest of not getting flattened, we're gonna double back and cross the pedestrian bridge like sensible people. All the way over there. We just stumbled upon these two basketball courts in a public park. It's a really simple thing, but I think it encapsulates the design principles of Taipei as a city. It's really people-centered from what we've observed. Even just the leafiness, the greenery all throughout the city, it would actually be a really comfortable place to live permanently or semi-permanently. Well, that was a really fun ride over the hills on the gondola. Now, just to clarify, you don't have to take the gondola. You can enter from the other side of the zoo. We just thought this would be a fun way of doing it. If you do want to take a bit more of the gondola, it goes further up this hill. There's some tea houses and there's also a temple. So we might do that later in the trip. But today, it's all about the zoo. This is fun. This is the training ascent. Like VIPs. So there was a pretty cool entrance. We came off the gondola and they put us in a little train. I felt like I was on the kids' train. And they're taking us down here. It's such incredible value. This cost us about three or four New Zealand dollars. That's just unbelievable. In New Zealand, this would be 35, 45 dollars per person for sure. So amazing value. So I got a hot dog. I'm a sucker for a hot dog. There's something not quite right about eating meat in a zoo, but YOLO. The other benefit to coming to the Taipei Zoo is that it's actually a great nature walk. We'll definitely get our steps today. Well, that was an awesome zoo experience. We really enjoyed it. I think Logan and I both feel slightly on the fence about what role the zoo should play, whether they should exist or not. Um, and I think it really comes down to a lot of different factors that I probably don't fully understand, but it does help to show people the beauty of this world and all the diversity of animals and why we must protect our environment. So I think that's a really important message. On the other hand, sometimes the climate just doesn't suit the animals they have in the zoo and they look a little bit unhappy, and that always doesn't make me feel great. So it's always a little bittersweet. Good morning, we are on a bus and we're on our way to Jofin. Apparently this little town served as something of an inspiration for the movie Spirited Away. So can't wait to see it, I'm sure it's very charming. Very exciting. Well here we are, we've arrived. The weather has turned though, so it's getting quite rainy. But we have purchased an umbrella and we will be making the most of today anyway. This market is packed full of action. Lots of people hiding from the wet. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So we went to this uh, stall selling these amazing puff pastry sweet treats. We got two. We got one that is cream puff and one that is sweet potato. I'm going to try the cream puff, because that's the one I would have gone for. Look at that. Mm, very flaky. It's going to get everywhere. I went for the sweet potato option. I wanted to be a bit more daring, and the lady that was ahead of us in the queue said it's her favourite. So let's give it a whirl. Mm. I'm really pleased with my choice. The flavour is like a mix between sweet and savoury. It has a really interesting dimension beyond just a boring cream puff that we might get in a New Zealand bakery. So, winning. And look, it's exploded. Oh yeah.
Well, it's such a crazy place here. It's really congested, um, really beautiful as well. I feel like this moody weather is just adding to the aesthetic. We're gonna go down the stairs and we're gonna head downhill a little bit. And we're gonna try find our Spirited Away Vista. By these little postcards as we travel. They're super light and easy to take with you. This is a local man's artwork. He's done in a much bigger format and he has sampled pieces of his grandiose uh, art piece and made them into postcards. So this is a local artist and it's an inexpensive way to support local art to be made. There are lots of little lookouts. Yeah. On a clear day, I'm sure you can see out really far and it'll be a breathtaking yeah. vista. Unfortunately for us, with the weather as it is, it is quite hard to see. However, a lot of the beauty from Jofin actually comes from walking through these winding, charming streets. Just watch where you're going, don't lose your footing, because it is quite slippery. Which one's your favourite? This one, reminds me of our cat Katia. Oh, it's big and all. Well that was very fun. These two drowned rats definitely recommend doing the stay trip. Only an hour from Taipei. Yeah, it's really fun. Unfortunately we got insanely wet, but it was really beautiful. This morning we have trained into the city and we are standing under Taipei 101 building. It's a pretty impressive building. It actually used to be the tallest in the world wow. until it was overtaken by the Burj Khalifa, Classic. which is a whopper, so it's no wonder really. <laughs> we would love to go up, but we've sort of looked into it a little bit. It is quite expensive. I mean, not crazy expensive. No, but I like think $30 New Zealand each. each. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think a lot of tourists, that is worth it. For us, we're traveling for a whole year. We're trying to save as much money as we possibly can. So if there's a free option, we're always going to go for that. So we have concocted this alternative plan. Yes. We're going to go up a mountain called Elephant Mountain Ooh. and hopefully get some amazing views of the city and of Taipei 101 itself. And it's also my birthday, so we thought it would be a nice little outing. You only turn 21 once. <laughs> a or decade. a few times in that case. <laughs> a few times. <laughs> to get to Elephant Mountain, we are walking through this beautiful park. It's so lovely. Up, up we go. This is an ideal hike if you've missed leg day recently. Yeah. Or in my case, any other body part day. <laughs> it's all uphill. Yeah, but we've been eating so much in Taiwan, the food's been so good. Mm. So this exercise is much needed. Okay, so we made it the first lookout. That was nice, but we want to get to this next one. It's nine more minutes. We can do it. Well, that was 100% worth it. Yeah, it was really good. It's not quite as bad as it sounds. Um, I'm not particularly fit and I made it up and awesome views. Well, we've had an incredible time in Taiwan. The warmth of the people, the ease of the well-connected public transport oh, system, yeah. the food, it really is a place you must visit. Yeah, I think we've been here for three weeks now and it started to feel like a home to us. We could really imagine living here. It's a beautiful place. Yeah. So if you're enjoying this content, please give us a like and subscribe. We really do appreciate your support in helping us to grow. Until next time. Bye-bye.